all right so what is going on today youtube and oh my god i'm so upset right now i literally <laughs> recorded this this is my third time trying to record this because the second time i wasn't even recording i was just talking into the camera uh not the camera but it was talking into the video just looking at it thinking i'm recording the whole time and i get to the end and it it still says uh do you want to start recording but this is game two of the uh, uh shira new zombies versus ddds and um he's going first because he did lose game one go check that out if you have not um and like always before we start the video i would like to say if you guys do enjoy the video leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not already and if you guys can click and add to help support the channel which would be very appreciated now thank you much thank you guys for doing it so top deck the fullest burial and now i can do the play that i was talking about in game one the black rose synthesis play in game one once again i just i'm i just love chaos zone so much i just shotgunned it and wasn't really thinking it completely through but in this one we're definitely going to be doing the right play so summon to summon the spirit master get to solitaire back um if my opponent lets me gonna wait a couple of seconds and oh, oh my god you guys don't know how long this actual duel was and it did not need to even be this long but activate the solitary go ahead and get the unizombie so uh right here <clears throat> this in last duel i end up i think using terraforming first but this is what i should have did i should have went black rose blew the board so now it clears my way i can search synthesis discard um smith I can discard Goblin Zombie. I can even discard Necroface to get the effect off, um, which would have been a cool play because I could have sent Gozuki, then Special Summoned um, either Smith or Goblin Zombie, and then, you know, still did the same thing. So here I'm contemplating about actually doing that, but I end up going with the Smith because I was like, you know what? Uh, I don't have a way to get Gozuki back. I have no way to get a Mizuki in the graveyard. I mean, not, not, no, I had no, no way to get Mizuki on the field gozuki on the field that's what i really wanted to do here i want that's the only time i really want to send gozuki is when i can get it back on the field so i can send another card but since i could not do that i decided i opted to go against it and just going into the mizuki just sending the mizuki here so i can just go into the regular level eight combo now i wasn't going to go shogun saga here but with Shogun Saga, I wouldn't have got, uh, I guess, where I wanted to be. I don't know. Something, I just did not want to go to Shogun Saga. I felt uh, uh, Omega was better because he was only down to two cards. And um, if I went Shogun Saga, um, I wasn't going to be able to get a Masuki back. Um, I, he also was going to have basically free reign to do whatever he wanted to do. Because, like I said, I don't have anything disrupting him on his turn. And that's the reason why I decided to go with Omega because I'm like, all right, he only has, you know, two cards in hand. He has a Swirl Slime, he has the Necro Slime. He can only do so much. So Omega can really, you know, fuck up his plays if I hit the right card. So that's pretty much the end of my turn. On his turn, you know, do the regular Omega plays, return the Mizuki and stuff like that. So he goes to start off. Um, wait, what is he? Oh, okay, never mind. He didn't start off n not at all yet. He's still waiting for some reason. This is what I'm talking about. This man took a very long time, and it literally did not need to be this long. So he starts off with the, I want to say Swamp King. I want to say DD Swamp King, but I'm pretty sure that's not the name of this card. It's con Dark Contract with Swamp. That's the, I think that's the name of the card. The one is the Miracle Fusion and a Palmerization at the same time if he plays it if he uh, there it goes he does play it so um yeah it is dark contract with something i believe it is so right here all right he activates that so i'm thinking all right he's obviously going for a fusion play let me use my omega so use my omega and he ends up chaining twin twister uh and that kind of foiled my plans but with that twin twister that he does do he gets, lets me keep my omega on the field so now i don't take too much damage i i you know i still have a 2800 body on the board he can easily go into beowulf um then he can go king art but king art is only 2800 and stuff like that so right here i'm thinking he's only going to go into a beowulf or something just to attack over my omega and end his turn but what he ends up doing is doing a little bit more and you guys let me know what you think do you think he should have waited because he did not really have too much resources left 
So I'm thinking, you know, you should wait. You shouldn't expand all your resources right now. You should, you know, at least wait a second. Uh, at least wait a turn because, um, you, you know, if you do survive, you still have something to back up. But I guess he's going for broke here. And another way you can look at it as, okay, well, even if he does go two fusions, I mean, that those are fusion materials also. So you can just Miracle Fusion those two out and get something else. So, uh... I guess either way, like I said, I, I personally probably would have waited. I don't know though. Um, like I said, I'm not a DDD player, so I would not know. You guys let me know if you think he did the smart move or not. So that's pretty much the end of his turn. Um, I really thought that he was going to go Hope Galaxy for some reason, but it's clearly level 7, level 8. And here, I completely shotgunned this when I shouldn't have did it. I was sitting here my, the whole time. I was like, all right, I'm going to dark hole. I'm going to dark hole. I'm going to dark. As soon as I drew it, I said, okay, I'm going to dark hole him and attack the game. And then I just used Mizuki because I get I get too excited. I did it in the first game, and I'm doing it again here. Now I'm just like on tilt, and then I end up doing another stupid move um, right here. As soon as I get done uh, <clears throat> looking through my graveyard, because I'm trying to figure out how can I get game without using this dark hole because I didn't fucked up already. So. Once again, I'm thinking I can send Gozuki. Gozuki can banish Spirit Masters by summon Goblin Zombie. Sink, go into uh, Shogun Saga, and then you know do all that. But once again, that's not that's not what's in. All I, all I have to do is put 47 on the, on the board. Um, 45 over that would be what 13? No, whoa, Jesus Christ, would be 17. Putting them down to 4,000, and the highest I can do is 25. So putting them at 15, that wouldn't have beat them. So, I end up normal summoning Goblin Zombie for literally no reason. Do not ask me why, because I don't even know why I normal summoned it. I was just, I'm sitting here just doing random shit, because I was never attending to synchro with the, uh, what's the name, with the Goblin Zombie. I was intending to synchro with uh, the Smith. So, that's another reason why I opted against the Gozuki, because I was like, alright, you know, actually, I probably, if I would have went Gozuki, this, this game would have probably, would it have been over? That would have been 17... Uh, another 17 uh, by the Gozuki, and then I could have sent Mizuki and uh, what's the name? And got back uh, Unizombie. That would have been 3,000. 3,000 and That actually would have been game. So, like, one, once again, I, I, I fuck up. But you know what? It's still cool. Um, we're still going to do some nice. We're going to still do some nice plays. And I search for the reincarnation. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking defensive right here. Because like I said, I'm on tilt. I'm thinking, all right, well, DDDs are gonna, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna do something good. And he's gonna come back. I easily could have got Swallow Slash, and that easily would have ended the game because he literally had nothing else to do. I could have Swallow Slash, Pop Two, Banished One, and Searched One, and possibly got something back, or possibly Special Summon something. Either or, I, I still could have, like I said, could have easily put this game out of reach. Um, but, you know, I went Reincarnation because I, I just really love this card in the deck. And I w hope we get more sheer new monsters. Even though I'm pretty sure we're not. I mean, uh, another Synchro or something. You are getting extra uh, zombie cards, but they're not zero defense. So, that's that still sucks. That really does suck. But, hey, man, beggars cannot be choosers. So, he topped that Copernicus. And I'm thinking of all the damn DDDs he could have topped that. He topped that to one that sends the extra shit to the graveyard. So now I'm really like getting kind of nervous because that's because I'm thinking, all right, maybe he can come back. Maybe he can go into a fusion that I ain't heard of or forgot about at the time of actually dueling. Uh, maybe he can, you know, come, you know, come back and do some extra shit. Uh, but I do have this reincarnation, so I know that I'm not going to be dead this turn. So I end up uh, he ends up attacking and using this card. I forgot the name of this one, but this motherfucker takes shit. So going to use the reincarnation banish and shogun saga so now not only is shogun saga banished so i can use it with um i can use it if i get a sage banished um i can bring it back um he doesn't get to take it uh and i was trying to make him take my goblin zombie but he ends up not doing it because i guess he does not want to give me the search smart guy but i do have the dark hole in hand and like i said this this duel should have been over a very long time ago i had two ways to win but you know i just 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 fucking up man just fucking up and you just end up losing the game uh not almost losing the game no not even almost but you know i could have lost the game <laughs> so here i'm like all right then might as well just you know do the regular plays 
now that I cleared his board, he doesn't really have anything to do. I'm going to spare some of the solitaire. When the solitaires get banished, thanks to the possibly, I don't know. I, I really enjoy reincarnation. I don't know if I like it better than Swallow Slash, but I really do enjoy, uh, what's the name? Uh, reincarnation, because it, it, it's just so good. But you guys can see what's happening right now. This game is pretty much over, out of reach. That is good. So, yeah. I'm just going to let this finish off, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And this is the reason why I am doing a voiceover because right here I've, I can fucked completely up and it, it did something. I don't know, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the deck list for the deck. Um, see you guys tomorrow with the replays of the week and enjoy your day.